All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, and we are once again back playing some Horizon Zero Dawn. I took the courtesy to move us to the next side quest, which is talking to Nil. Yeah, continuing on with the game. I love doing these side quests. They actually seem quite interesting. So let's see what Redhead has to say here. With the sweet headgear. I'm glad you came. You're glad. Why? Call it a shared interest, and call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. And rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <sighs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from me. Oh. I don't need your help to clear out some bandits. A loner. That's exciting. Don't worry. If they kill you, I'll finish them off before they can make a cup of your skull or any other nonsense like that. Don't worry, man. I got this. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Okay. To the side. Back to the arrows. Here. Max out. Let's take these guys down. It's a whole lot of them in this fucking base, though. Can we get out of a lot of these? There you go. Kill all the bandits. But I can't do ledge takedowns. Strangled him with his own bowstring, she said. I said, that's not how you use a bow. You call that noise? Oh. <laughs> I just took a spear to the back of his fucking face. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. 63. Dang. Seven. Body needs to do weapons after this. 144? What the heck? <sighs> That's an ancient necklace. Give me back my arrow. The bandits brought their prisoners here. We need a new cook. Yesterday's cook. Ah. Oh. We got something good. Why do I do that? Prisoners, three guys. I 
to separate those two somehow. This one's always moving too. Tried to call it a practice fight. Spit on that. Every fight's practice. You learn or die. You dead. Learn or die, she says. Might have a man down. No way. You sp oh, you spotted it. Hey, look up. Ooh. Oh, my God. It's got me. Has shot. Four guys on this wall. Sniper up there. Let me get to this grass. Hey, they started moving. Mm, I thought. Yeah, that's not who I wanted, but that works. Whatever. Whose body is that? Somebody's down over there. Yeah, keep checking the bodies, man. What? The sniper's not gonna come down from his perch. That'd be dumb. You saw that. A lot of good stuff, though. Peek out. Where are you going? I don't know if I can hit that shot or not. Don't need to. Okay, how many left? Oh, this is stressful. So stressful. There's something on this thing? I have no idea. And it's so this desert glass that I keep seeing everywhere. Okay, the front end is covered. Whew. Come from this side now. In the grass. Close as possible. Somebody's down over there. Oh my God, I almost buggered that. 
completely buggered it. Who's left? Brains will take forever to dry. What? What you talking about, Willis? Braids? Oh, your hair. We don't care about your hair. Do I get extra points if I disable it? Ew. That's gross. That puts it out of action. Okay. I'm wondering if I have to free the guys before I kill the last guy. It's all right. I'm getting you out. I'll get this open. Hold on. Get free. I gotta go kill this last guy. There you go. Done. Seeker, may I speak with you? Sure. I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here? Outside the embrace, alone. I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast. Not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. <laughs> He gave him the falcon punch. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You, you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. No, thank you, sir. Jom. Let's see here. I can buy some cool stuff now. Like the Karja Tripcaster. And the Karja Sling.
useful too. I don't think I need to tie down any animals quite yet. Let me just go back up here before we go talk to Nell. So find them somewhere around here. Stuff. All right, Nilly. Oh, now it's gonna hurt. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Fall damage hurts. You guys could at least clean up the bodies. So, like, ooh, ancient charm. I said I'd meet Varl and Sona near Red Echoes. All right, Nail, how do you like my work? I'll admit, at first I felt slighted by your selfishness, but you know, I'm glad I stayed to watch. Every kill you made, I pricked my fingers on an arrowhead just to, to feel part of things. You were keeping score? What's wrong with you? I saw you were preoccupied. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed, only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss, nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow me. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, oh, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. <laughs> I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them. We're standing, they're not. Clearly, we were better. Nil's manscaping game is on point. Look at that chest. We're done here. Not a hair yeah. on the site. I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our work. <laughs> This guy is so weird. They all weirdo. Hello. I think I saw a Rolex in there for a second. Okay. Oh, quest. I mean, collectibles. French agent vessel found. It's so far. Is level seven mission now. Oh, I leveled up. Skills. That could probably be useful. Don't know what I want.
Oh, there's a silent takedown. I don't want this increased control. I don't know. Fine. I had to buy this one though. Level 12 reached. Alright, Jean. Where are you at, man? This must be Mother's crown. So I should be around here somewhere. Something. Mother's vengeance. I'll know better next time. I know. So many wounded. The tribe's been hit hard. Uh, stuck here what happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer. So intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. <laughs> I will, but here I want to. They What's made her on? a seeker. But I want to come open here, girl. Pandora's Let's box. have a look at you. All that. Oh, that's kind of weird. It hurts now, but I'm all the wiser for you. Jean, why are you all the way here? Corruption spreading across the land, and now the valley's sealed off. Next time, I'll remember what the matriarchs decreed. Okay. The high matriarchs will find out who's I guess I wasn't supposed to go in here quite yet. Let me go around here. Like insult to injury, man. Ooh. 
assault. Lots of assault. A lance farm. Maybe I should avoid. Let's go find Jean. Too bad I can't override a saw to. That'd be legit. Fast travel point. Let's go. I'm coming, Jean! I'm coming! Locked in. You're locked in. Kidding me? Someone! Anyone! Is someone there? Oh, mother be praised. I thought I'd never be freed. What happened? A gang of outcasts, that's what. They burst in, stole my dream willow, and left me to die. A gang of outcasts? Yes, a gang. The door crashed open. I didn't stand a chance. They grabbed my dream willow and left me for dead. Why would outcasts steal your dream willow? Why? Because it's the most valuable herb I gather, of course. Miserable thieves. They took nothing else? No. Mark my words. They have struck a deal with outsiders. It's shards they're after, and they'll kill to get it. Which way did the outcasts go? Up the mountain, I think. You might catch them if you hurry. Whatever you do, don't let their shabby looks fool you. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Oh, I need to catch my breath. Yeah, you could stop talking for a start. Dang. The outcasts must have left tracks. My focus should pick them up. Loot boxes. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. It's kind of hard to see the purple against the white snow, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. The outcasts that took the dream will out, and they're in trouble. Don't you worry, man, I gotcha. Canisters underneath his chest. That's so dumb. You jumped right over the trap! <laughs> Clever girl! 
Come here. Got him. I told you my next saw tooth would be all better. I would do a better job next time. Take all that. You ain't all that in a bag, potato chips. You. Thieves. You have our thanks, if the gratitude of outcasts means anything to you. It does. You not only save us, but speak to us. The matriarchs cast me out at birth. The laws of the Nora don't mean much to me. And you're that girl whose mother never claimed her. But an outcast no longer. No. A seeker, in fact. Looking for Dream Willow. Hmm. That could be a problem. What crimes did you and the others commit? I beat a man who stole my kill. It was my wrong. The others stole, broke custom, or trespassed among the bones of the metal world. No murderers here, if that's what you're asking. Jun said you roughed him up. He was too busy cringing to know what happened. The man's a coward. We made sure not to hurt him, not that he seemed to notice. Why did you take the Dream Willow? Because we have wounded. Why else would we take it? Something terrible has happened to the tribe. The Braves offer no protection. The machines are angry, and bandits infest the sacred land and prey upon us. Why else would outcasts break custom and band together, but that we have no choice? Even so, we did not steal. We left shards in the stashes and tried to pay John. But of course he would not speak to us. There are others who need Dream Willow. You can't have all of it. You asking or demanding? Talking. One person to another. I see. Perhaps we have more than we need. After everything that happened, we were afraid. We took all we could find. Here. I'll keep a portion, but the rest... May it find its way to those who need it. I'll see that it does. In the meantime, stay safe and stick together. Ugh, so far. Oh, I don't want to waste a fast travel thing. I'll just climb the damn mountain. I will not climb the damn mountain. Okay, okay, okay. All right, John, I hear you have some shards. You want to share? Here's the Dream Willow. Take it to Fia and Mother's Rise. There are wounded braves there who need it badly. I will. But what became of the outcasts? Did those wretches pay for their crimes? Ganging up together, speaking to each other, and to us. I hope you showed them no mercy. You don't know who I am, do you? Should I? I was raised as an outcast in the mountains above Mother's heart. The motherless girl. If I'd known, I never would have spoken to you. It's funny how you hate outcasts so much, Jen. Living out here all alone, you're practically one yourself. I happily keep my own company. Good for you, since I don't exactly see anyone beating down the door to spend time with you. Except outcasts in need of Dream Willow, that is. I'm done here. Make sure that Fia gets that Dream Willow. Or I'll be back. Insult injury complete. Inventory, I got a couple boxes. Treasure boxes! Metal shards, metal shards, metal shards, metal shards, metal shards, metal shards. Okay. Map. Where am I? That's Seekers of the Gate.
red echoes. 